Ainos with the Swami, which is a book written by Sham Sundar Prabhu, who was also here at the time. Sham Sundar Prabhu is a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, God God of Shruta Kirti Prabhu. And he gave a very elaborate description of why Srila Prabhupada came here, to what places they went and what happened. And Shruta Kirti Prabhu he will be reading because he has a very nice American English which will be more pleasant to listen to than my English. And now is an important question because maybe audibly it will be difficult to listen to hear sometimes depending on where we are. Actually this will be the loudest place so if you can hear us here it should work. But still we have a few printouts and we also sent via WhatsApp a PDF file where everything we're gonna read is there. So who doesn't have a copy yet? Please raise your hand. So what I suggest is only a few, you connect with someone who has it on his phone or her phone or who has a hard copy because I don't have many left and then you can read together. So before I give the microphone to Shruti Kirti Prabhu, just a few practical things because we are moving around on public ground and we not having any permission. We not having a Harnam permission uh, or permission to visit any of the buildings because basically it's not possible to get any permission these days. So please, uh, the first thing, if you can just be responsible. No behave in a way that is appropriate mm -hmm. and not be too chaotic, too loud. And especially when we walk to Paradeplatz, we're gonna do a Harinam. We brought Mridanga and especially Kartas, but we're gonna use the Mridanga very softly, just for us to hear it and mm -hmm. be accompanied, to accompany the Holy Name. And if you can please walk in two, in rows of two, and not all over the place. Just that it's a little bit controlled. That's that. And then one more thing, if you have questions, at Sonnenberg, which is very close to the temple, which will be the last station, you can ask questions. Shruta Kirti Prabhu, he will be giving a talk, and then after that you can uh, ask questions. Any questions so far? <laughs> you understood the questions are asked in the end. So then we could start now. I will hand it over to you, Prabhu, and also the, the sheep. And so please take full advantage. I think many of you will hear things about Srila Prabhupada and you, you will get to know Zurich in a new way today. And it will change forever. Your relationship to this city will change forever today. I can guarantee you because I've done it now twice in preparation <laughs> and I feel very fortunate to live in this city now. It's a, like Shruti Kirti Prabhu said, it's actually a holy Tirta because Srila Prabhupada, he was here first. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai! I especially thank Prabhu is here for the invitation. As he mentioned, this morning I gave class. My wife and I, we live in Vrindavan now for the last four years. Every day in Vrindavan, 50,000 or more people are coming there. Why are they coming to Vrindavan? Because it's a Tirtha, because Krishna performed his pastimes there. But it's, it's more than that. It's because so many saintly people, they also put their lotus footprints on that place so my idea for coming here whether anniversary 50th anniversary 100th anniversary 22nd anniversary it's that Prabhupada was here and just a few years ago before the big lockdown we went to South Africa it was my first time there I went there because I wanted to go to all the places Prabhupada went because wherever, as he said, wherever Prabhupada places his lotus feet, that's a Tirtha. So all of you living here, you live in a very special place. Prabhupada 
we know he traveled around the world 14 times because all those places they became tirthas they all became literally gardens where he planted seeds imagine he spent one week less than one week in russia he planted one seed in one person and now there's tens of thousands of devotees in Russia, all by the efforts of one devotee. And when I went to Russia, I would tell them, you all had association with Srila Prabhupada previously. He might have tread on you as he was walking in Red Square. You could have been an ant, you could have been...